the car guy in me has to get some blow off valve sound. Just got off of work, topped off on fuel, got some food. By the time you see this, it'll be 2021. Happy New Year. I hope you all are doing well. Had a good one. Had a safe one. I'm just uh, headed home right now and going to edit this video and a bunch of other videos. So let's go. It's a good sound. So 2020, a lot of people are saying this is the worst year ever. For me, it was one of my best years ever. I don't think I ever had a best year of my life, but if I were to name a top five, this one's definitely top five best years ever. The only thing that could have made this year any better is if my uh, past pets were still alive. I still miss my last dog a lot. If he was around for this year, that's the only thing that would have made this year even better if my uh, pets were around. That's it. Other than that, you know, every year has its ups and downs. When all the businesses were closing down, I was one of the lucky ones to still have work. But the hours really slowed down for about a month and a half. And then when things picked up, they picked up like I've never seen things pick up before. And I got... 60 hour work weeks work six days a week 10 hours a day some days i was working 11 12 hours so i was uh really able to fund my goals fund my projects this year my last road trip in this car my a barth i was sleepy and it was a nightmare because I can't sleep in this car. I was sleepy like the last two hours of my road trip in this car. And then my next road trip, I got my van. So I had a, I had a van after that. I got my van, I think, February 24th of uh, 2020. So in, in that time, I put, I think, 8,000 miles on that van. And mostly road trip miles. It's... Uh, I accomplished almost everything I wanted with that van this year. I said I was going to get a van. I got it. I wanted to get a lift kit. I'll tell you why I didn't get one by 2020. I will get one soon, but I wanted to do my road trips. I went on a bunch of road trips, went camping a lot. I didn't get to go to Salton Sea and uh, Heart Attack Grill. Hopefully, I, see, I don't even know if Heart Attack Grill's still around. Did Heart Attack Grill make it through 2020? I hope so. But I wanted to go there in 2020. I wanted to go to Salton Sea. I got to go camping a lot. So it was a, it was a fun year. I don't want to make this video too negative. But the only thing that went wrong for me this year is the beginning of November. Um, corporate, I guess, wanted, wanted everyone to only work six hours, six hours a day, 30 hours a week. And if that's the if that's the rule, that's the rule. But what had happened was all the manager, all the manager's friends, they were getting 50, 60, uh, 40, 50, 60 hours a week still. They were going way beyond, way beyond the um, 30 hours that they were supposed to get. And I knew that because they were coming in at one o'clock and I was coming in at six o'clock. And then when I was leaving at midnight, they were still there. And, you know, management told me straight up, oh, no one's getting more than six hours a day, which is, a, which is a lie. But, you know, that's life. So, you know, it, it's like this, man. If manager's friends, let's say they were getting 40 hours a week. If I was getting 37, I get it. You take care of your friends. That's life. You take care of your friends in life. But the fact they were getting 40, 50, 60 hours a week, and I was getting 30 at most, that's a 10 hour gap. That, that's a big discrepancy. So that really that really uh, crushed my spirits a lot because I, I was on a three month roll of doing 60 hours a week. I mean, I was, 
I was taking advantage of all the hours I was getting. I, I have so many videos talking about, you know, sacrificing my days off just so I could work 60 hours, just so I could uh, build up my van. And for three weeks, so I got my hours back because it was um, Christmas season. So there was no longer a cap on hours because of the Christmas season. So I got my hours back, but those three weeks that I was limited to 30 hours and under and managers friends were getting 40, 50, 60 hours. Let's say even if I just got 50 hours, you know, I would have got my lift kit by now. I'm about 1500 short right now on my lift kit. But, uh, you know, oh, oh, my mom told me she got her $600 check already. So here's the thing. Here's a question, anyway. Uh, just to uh, spin that to a positive, that that pushed me to want to uh, start my own business next year. Like I've been working on my YouTube channel a lot, but I also wanted to expand and start a business next year. I don't want to go into detail about it too much yet, but next year I intend on starting a business. Hopefully everything goes according to plan, but seeing the favoritism at work because they i was told your hours aren't going to change for a long time and just to be lied to about that and see friends of managers get way more than me and i've always been the guy you know the upsetting part is no one wants to work saturdays there's very very few people that work saturdays and the managers friends they never work saturdays maybe one or two but i, I was there every saturday for three months you know, I, I I work all the hours I can, man. I earn everything I have, and I know in life you gotta work hard to get you get what you want to make your goals happen. You you can't just sit around and wish to have things and not work for it. I, I'm that guy who will. I'm that guy who's always asking like, what do you guys got left? You know, I'm never trying to go home early. I never try to go home early. You know, I'm all about I'm all about work, and then on my days off that's when I have fun and the fact that they told me oh things aren't going to change and then it did change and then you know they gave the hours to their friends like right now everything's cool but now I'm not going to depend on it so that kind of like pushed me to say that um okay it's time man I got I gotta really hustle next year and start my own business focus on my YouTube channel learn business taxes stuff like that so it's gonna work a lot harder next year my i'm like laser focused next year to do even better than i did in 2020 i 2020 i did great like i said one of my best years ever but you know that that november month when i saw the favoritism it told me that okay maybe it's maybe it's time to do better in life and I'm, i gotta make it happen i can't depend on other people to make things happen so that was a that was a wake up call. That was a wake up call for me. So, lift kit. Here's the question of the day. Lift kit. So, my mom told me she got her six hundred dollar check already. So, if I get a six hundred dollar check, I should. I got the twelve last time. But if I get the six, I'll be able to get an action van suspension. I got that for my last van, an action van, and that's advertised as a four inch lift kit. And my van rode great. My last van that I had rode great when I put the action van suspension in. It was three grand installed. So I think that my van, the shocks and the bushings were so shot that having new shocks and new bushings made it ride so much better. I really want the Welltech kit. The Welltech kit is advertised as a six inch lift, but it's another grand. It's, uh, it's gonna cost me I think $3,500 to $4,000 with the tax. It's probably going to be closer to four. There's a question of the day. Do I get a four inch lift kit again? Or is two inches worth $1,000? That's the question in life, isn't it? Is two thousand, is uh, two inches worth a grand? Is a little two inches worth that much more money? But but I heard the um, Welltech lift kit will make my van ride even better than the action van suspension made my uh, van ride. So not only do I get an extra two inches, I get an even better ride. So what would you guys do? 
six inch lift or is it worth it oh so four inch lift kit or is it worth it to get a six inch lift kit but you got to spend another thousand dollars so that's what happened with my lift kit if the managers had not played favorites i would have been able to get my lift kit the third week of december that's what i had planned out that's what i had budgeted third week of december but like i said i did not foresee november happening and the managers playing uh favorites on the hour so yeah if i had got the same hours as their friends i would have had the funds to get my lift kit third week of december but as it stands now if i get the 600 dollars in the next couple of weeks i could get the action van suspension or i could wait and get the Weltec 6 inch lift around the end of February. So it's still not very far away. You know, I just, uh, like I said, I have my separate funds for my lift kit. You know what happened though? I also would have got it, but I made a vlog about it. My brakes locked up in my van. Like uh, the driver's side uh, caliper locked up in my van. So, you know, I, instead of doing one caliper, I did all four, and then I changed the tensioner and the alternator, so I had to do a basic maintenance with my van, and that, that tapped into my lift kit fund a little bit, so, you know, of course I have to keep my van reliable, so I, I did that. Anyway, that's a, there's, there's a thoughts for the day. I was driving super slow, but i can't i can't multitask i can't drive and talk at the same time i mean i, I obviously i could drive but you know, i just kept it slow keep it safe all right everyone hope you guys had a good one had a good new year fun new year and stayed safe